Hello and welcome to December's Subject of the Month, where we're going to take a look at the all-new dashboard on your Uniform Version 5 program. This short movie is designed to show you the new functionality and how you can customise it to make the best use of it on your farm. What does the herd summary show me? Okay, that shows us the status of the herd. So, for example, we can see that we currently have 549 cows, the number of young stock, and then what we do is we break them down by fertility status. So, for example, we have nine cows, which is 2% of the herd, which are currently PD negative. Can I print from the herd summary? Yeah, you can see the individual cows just by left-clicking on the box. Here are the cows, and we now have a new print icon on the top right-hand side, so you can print directly from the dashboard. I can see on the, t the attentions there are red buttons. What do they tell me? Okay, that's important. What we've done is we've put in warning thresholds. So, for example, we have 31 cows due to PD, but six of them, the PD is now overdue. I have 10 cows that are due to calf, and one cow has gone past her expected calving dates. So if we have a look, we can clearly see which cow. How do I adjust these thresholds? Okay, any changes are in properties. Now, if we look on the bottom left-hand side, we can see this is the preset for our dashboard. And here we can change it, and we can put different warning triggers in. And I can say I'm only interested in cows, for example, that are seven days overdue. And can I save it? Yep, that's important. You need to click here where it says Save Preset, and then say OK. And that's it now customised for your farm. Can I put on the dashboard all animals due for a foot trim? Yeah, that'll be in the task section. So we have cows due to come bullying, PD, dry off and calve. But we also have our task section. So if we click in here, currently we don't have anything selected. So what we need to do is to go in, go to Properties. And we have a tick saying that we want to see all tasks that are due for the next seven days. And if they go overdue by more than seven days, then they should appear as a warning. But we need to actually select which tasks are to appear. So I have these set up already on my action scheduler. And the one I want to appear on this report is all the cows that are due to foot trim 90 days before the drying off date. So again, remember to left click and say OK. Here we can see the cows. We can see the ones that are overdue. And you'll then see appearing in here, the dashboard is currently loading, but we will see the number of cows due to be foot trimmed. So we have our cow calendar events, and then we have actions that need to be taken. What does the low milk button tell me? Okay, if we have a link with an automated milking parlour, each day we read in the individual milk yields, and we can set a threshold so that if the milk falls by a specific amount, it will then appear on our dashboard. Here we can see the 23 tasks to overdue. Now we go to our low milk, simply select that, and that will then show you the cows that are having milk yield drop. And here they are, the three cows. What does the to do button tell me? Okay, those are any tasks that need to be done. One thing that I should also say is if you set up an automated task, for example, a feed calculation, or making a backup, or the link with the milking parlour, if that task doesn't happen, you'll then get a warning light that flashes and draws your attention to it. So it's a similar, similar concept to the warnings that we have here, that you'll see a flashing light. So for this one, let's have a look at the tasks that are due to be done. And we can see that we have 16 births and movements that need to be sent to CTS. So it's just there to jump out in front of us. Can I customise the KPIs? Yes, certainly. Again, we go to the properties. Now, at the moment, I have three here and the two graphics, but I also want to see the percentage of animals pregnant after the first insemination. And you'll see here that we can set in thresholds. So I'm saying that it's not good if it's 25, and obviously it's good if it's 35, and then we use colours to denote whether we're doing better or whether we're doing worse. So the green is good, and we can see here clearly that's my somatic cell counts, so that's good, and we're following it. And the red line denotes that it's not quite so good. Can you make the graph bigger? Yeah, just click on it. So, for example, if you want to have a look at the standard peak production, just click once, and there it is, quite clearly. So all this is accessible from your dashboard. We hope this shows you the functionality that you can use and how you can customize it 
And this is one of the most important reports in the program because it gives you an overview just on the one screen of everything that's happening. If you have any questions, please call the help desk and we'll happily set this up for you.